The high school basketball season is rolling along and many triad teams are off to a great start. WFNY News 2's Jalen Gilkey has more on a pair of cousins out in Reedsville who are making some big noise. Yeah, Lauren, Kendra Harrison and Deontay Neal are the next big thing coming out of Reedsville. This freshman dynamic duo already made their mark on the football field by helping lead the Rams to a state title appearance. And now the boys are looking to bring that ring back to Reedsville this basketball season. So we've had several individuals who've been great freshmen for us, but as far as coming in and dominating the way they have, we haven't had those two together as a package ever. Reedsville Senior High has been known to produce some very high-level athletes. Go, go, go. Ah! Ah! But according to head coach Jason Ross, Deontay Neal and Kendra Harrison have the potential to be the best athletes to ever attend Reedsville when it's all said and done. If they put the work in and continue to, to progress the way they have, they could probably be the best two, that, two as a combo that's come out of Reevesville ever. Whether that be on the football field or on the basketball court, these freshmen have dominated together, and they've been doing it for a long time. Oh, it was great to play with Deontay. Uh, throwing off the backboard, throwing the lies, having a great point guard that can, you know, get through the pain and dish it off to me so I can get those all those dunks. So you might wonder, how do these two freshmen have such great chemistry already? Well, it's because they've known each other their whole life. Just our chemistry from growing up in the rec league, playing together for so long, I feel like all, all, of, all of that playing together has just helped us a lot with our chemistry. Now this pair of cousins is terrorizing North Carolina's Class 2A. I remember like a couple years ago, he wasn't 6'7", he was like 5'10", kind of chubby, so him being 6'7 now is, is crazy at, at like how he can do the things he does. When I dunk, I try to break the rim. I love when I dunk, everybody get hype, crowd get routed up. It's fun. Now, after a 14-2 year on the football field, and coming up just three points short in the state title, this pair of Rams are ready to lead Reedsville to a state title on the court for the first time since 2003. It can be a great team. I feel like we can win a state championship easily as long as we put the work in and work hard. We can be great. I feel like we go can win a state championship, bring a state championship back to Reedsville. And the Rams are off to a red heart start this season with a record of 13 and 0 on the young Ooh. year with Harrison and Neil both averaging over 21 points per game each, each each during the same game. Same game. Wow. They're really doing same something like, out there. That's amazing. They are two of the most spectacular athletes I've ever seen. Wow. He just Truly. looks like a, he's so big compared to the other. Even when he showed him on the football field and he caught that touchdown, he just reached up. The other guys were like, <laughs> and that was one thing. So when we ran that highlight in, during football fever, me and Amanda and Sean, we all looked like, what just happened? Yeah. And then I went out there and saw him and I said, this is a man. How tall did you say he is? Six, seven. Six, six seven. seven. Six, seven. And he's wow. just a freshman? Just a freshman. Wow. Do you think he's done growing? No, I don't think so. <laughs> he might not I don't be. think either one are done growing. And I think both of them will play high division one. Mm. whatever sport they want to Especially play. Especially if they're playing like this at this age. Oh, they're killing Absolutely. That's amazing. Mm. Well, speaking of Reedsville Athletics, last night Reedsville head coach, head football coach Jimmy Teague is retiring after 26 years with the Rams. During his tenure, he finishes up with a record of 339 and 58, and he won eight state championships along the way. Earlier today, we heard Coach Teague talk about this difficult decision. Wins and losses have, have been great, but it's the relationships I built over time. We were blessed in so many ways, you know, and starting with athletes. You talk about Reedsville High School, you're not just talking about the high school, you're talking about the city of Reedsville. And, you know, the city of Reedsville and the community uh, are another, another reason why we've had the success we've had is because we get such great community support. Teague was also named the Carolina Panthers North Carolina High School Coach of the Year after this season as well. Now, during the story, I was hearing you, Eric, say this is a really huge deal. I mean, it's this is a, a legend, a triad football legend, it's right? North Carolina there. football. Uh, that's mm -hmm. true. That's Absolutely. true. Statewide. I mean, I. I don't know of another high school coach that has eight championships, and Reesville has like 20 something. It's don't 22. We? That's incredible. We're, went for their 23rd this year, came up three points short. Three points shy of that, wow. From what you know of reporting on this team, what does this mean with him leaving? What does this mean for the team going forward? Well, they got more than capable players left. Uh -huh. They got a lot of experience coming back. They had a lot of juniors on their team, and the two young freshmen that we highlighted earlier. Uh, the coaching staff, they got a, looks like might have a couple pieces that are okay. having to change over, but I think they'll be in more than capable hands. Yeah, it's incredible. Well, when you when you develop that kind of a reputation mm -hmm. as a team, you draw the talent, yeah. you know, to you coaches and players, really. All right, let's check in with Tim.